Hello my friends! I want to show you how easy it is to make handmade cards for loved ones this season. In a moment I'm going to take my phone uh, closer to the cards there and show you what we will be creating, what you will be creating. So without further ado, let's have a closer look shall we i'm going to show you here what the finished cards look like and some of the materials that i have used um, these cards they come ready for you to assemble them like this so you can unfold here insert your painted card and then when you fold it you have a proper greeting card on which you can write like uh, these ones have been made into into cards like that by using the the open cut ones that you can just slot the painted card or i have experimented last year with these type of cards which i use um for them this like collage paper uh, this this uh, these are all available from um, either craft shop, good craft supplies, or art shops, which are mostly now online. But there are, might be some that are open still where you are. And also, I know that some good supermarkets also carry these. Or you can be creative if you have a good quality wrapping paper that can be used as well. But I think with small pattern they provide a very good background or if you prefer plain background then something like this may be appropriate then there is a variety of ribbons that you can use as well like just gluing them perhaps to the side of this um like this little one here that says um lots of love at christmas so something like that can be so glued there like as i said possibilities are endless these cards they come in variety of colors again and uh, as you can see i mean it's easy then to pick your paper to pick your design and then just decide where you're going to place them and if you're going to use ribbon or not again so they come in different colors these just the white ones here I have white, red and blue um, here. So this is watercolor paper. I have these as off cuts when I do my uh, paintings. So that is watercolor uh, paper and it's, it's more like a card because uh, as you can tell that doesn't, doesn't warp or bend easily. Another option is these postcard coloring books they're also available from craft shops so inside they already have a printed design which you can then um, color in how you like maybe maybe tonal these are all um, florals in this particular uh, block here but you can imagine you can really create um, nice cards the only limit here my friends is our imagination so i would like to believe that we are absolutely unlimited there so i'm going to come back now and show you the equipment now we have come to my favorite part which is of course the materials themselves so this is a watercolor paper what you want to do is cut the strips out and and then out of that we can cut pieces that will be our card as you can see i've drawn a circle around this one because i want this one to be round but i won't cut it just yet because i will use these corners here to tape it down to my board so it's just basically a card or hardboard piece onto which we can now uh, put our card and as you can tell this is the one I used before because those white specks are actually snow that I did on my card so this is the masking tape any 
masking tape will do because the actual uh, place where we where we glue it down won't be visible so even if the paper surface is damaged a little i wouldn't worry too much about it um so what else do we have here we have the watercolor sets um these are my trusted and and well used but you can use any these are both Windsor and Newton because I use their their paints they have excellent quality watercolors but any old set of watercolors would do and if you have these these type that are in tubes that is almost even better I would say uh, one if you can get hold of one real um, hair brush that is very soft and it's nice for uh, bigger surfaces so to do our um, sky like on this one to have that kind of brush would be helpful otherwise we have um, these ones here these ones here they are synthetic they're like student quality brushes and then we would just grab the biggest one to do these big washes but they are not as as fluid as you can tell this brush is quite uh, hard um, but um, we will still we will paint on the on the wet surface this uh, night sky so that we have this lovely effect of the snow i ho hope you like um snow on the cards <laughs> if not in real life because i think that will uh, that will add uh, some you know nice dimension to the card you need um water pots so it can be a plain old jar like the bigger the better for your first rinse and then this one is just to um make your paper wet so that's for clean water um i have a pipette here just to um put put water where i need it um we talked about the colors these are watercolor pencils they come in a variety of colors um, these have not come in the set although i have a set where you get also all the primary col colors so you would have um, red green you know two standard blues light and dark and and uh, orange and browns and all of those i do have them in here those uh, brown colors but i just didn't put all of them here on this plate but they are actually uh, watercolor pencils which means if we draw with them and then take our brush which is then not too wet we can achieve a similar result to this not the same but similar it will have this watercolor effect you might need a ruler if you're if you're doing a horizon line or something if you decide so that's always nice to have and uh, and a pencil for your drawing and um, and a palette or even a, a nice little perhaps a white saucer that you can then wash easily that is glazed ceramic that's that's important um, so that you don't ruin something you know if you have something special um, made with uh, you know out of clay or something you want a ceramic pot that is glazed unless you have the artist uh, palette like this one and that is my friends all we will be needing i do hope that provided you with enough information I will be posting separately about uh, some ideas as to what we will paint and if you have anything that you have collected found some on the internet a picture that you really like whether it's a photograph or maybe from a card design that you saw before and that you would like to attempt doing then bring that to the group i will um, share with you some ideas as to what you can paint and then i, I can I am available to give you any tips if you if you're doing this drawing beforehand which I strongly recommend unless you want it to be completely fluid and you want to go with the flow and and just see where inspiration takes you on that day which is also absolutely fine we are here to have some fun to enjoy this process
products. I hope that this was helpful to actually show you hands-on how the cards look, what we will be doing, and some of the equipment that we will be using. Um, if you, if it still leaves any questions unanswered, please do post them below this video in the thread and I will come back to you.